how does it feel to be president of Sun Life today? It's it's over. Is this a dream come true? Like I met how many years? I I've, I've been with you for five six years already. Correct? There, yeah, thereabouts. You weren't uh, uh, when I met you. You were what? What was your position back then? Uh, I think I was a manager. Manager. Yeah. Today that you're president, Mr. Gerald Bautista, <laughs> president. So how does that feel? Um, it's. Parang it's 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 different. I mean, I mean, of course, we have ambitions, right, and, and, and stuff like that. You have to have like, you know, by by a certain age, I have to be at this level. You know. You're a man like <coughs> that. You you've planned your life. Not so, not so. Actually, alluding to your question to to, to Mon, I, I graduated. I didn't have as, as I mentioned a while ago. I didn't have a business degree. Okay. I I, I took political science. You know. That, What did you want to be then? At first, when I when I took the course. Uh, I wanted to become a lawyer because wow. we were kind of like a family of lawyers. My my aunt and my my my, my lolo. And then halfway through the course, you know, I had a very good professor. I mean, uh, I don't know if he's gonna if he's listening. See, si Professor Tihanki. He he really changed, shifted kind of my life. Right. Yeah, parang he got me into international studies. And then from there on, hmm, I think I want to become an ambassador. Wow! Travel the world, represent, ganyan. So. I, I I did I did use my 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 college degree for one year. Well, not even one year. Uh, yeah, almost almost a year. But then I I kind of figured you know hmm, I think I want to go private mm. private sector. You know? So that's that's the time that I started looking at hmm, where can I fit myself? Mm. Can, where where can I find myself? Like you know I can say I'm part I'm part of this industry from the start or kind of building it up, and then. You know, stick to it. All right. So, it's it's it. Answer to your question, you know, how does it feel like you know having the role that I have right now? It's it's 20 years in the making. Wow. Yeah, the the giveaway ni age ko yun. It's it's 20 years in the making. You're 35. How old are you? I I started I started working when I was in uh I was 10 years old. <laughs> no, no no no. So yeah, it's it's 20 years in the making. A lot of sacrifices. I mean. Senti, you know, a lot of sacrifices, because because they're like personal sacrifices. Like, you know, I didn't get to have a proper relationship per se, just because I'm so engrossed with my work. So you'd say that is because of your goals and your dreams. Yeah, like, yeah. the relationship part didn't enter your it, life. It it kinda, it, it, or did it, it and you did not allow it to. I, I did not allow it. Okay. Parang I was so you know I I want to make it on top. I, yeah. I'm so engrossed with giving the best that I can for the company. Growing the company, making it number one, um, g- giving proper service to our clients, to our shareholders, and I had I wanted to have that feel, of, you know, when I, when I look at certain people, I, I'm sure you admire people, right? Mm. Uh, like, like you know, you, you you admire Tito Martin, right? Mm. I mean, no, no, it's not my Tito, your Tito. Mm. So you, you admire certain people. You want to be like them when you grow up at a certain age or a certain milestone. So who was the guy you wanted to be like? Um. Va- different people. Eh. Uh, that's like some sort of you know looking at people and ambitions as well. You kind of you kind of get a bit of what they have, and then how did I make it on top? I mean, mm. What can I get out of him that I can use so that it can push me to become a better person, become a better. So you got a little bit of those yeah. and put in your box. Yeah. So I'm I'm just lucky that in Sun Life we had those. We have you know Siriza Mantari, right. our former CEO. I had a former boss. Uh, he was an expat. Mm. Uh, his name is Naresh. Uh, he kind of gave me a lot of, you know, he gave me a lot of confidence. Mm. Uh, you know, he, trust and confidence, and then make me have my own discard. Right. And then I had uh, our, our Rina Pama, right. Uh, right? You used to see her before. Um, she gave me a lot of management. Miss Rina was the one that fainted in front of me, right? No, that's no. Riza. Ah, Miss Riza. So I have Miss Riza. Oh, na si Miss Rina, de ba? Rina. Rina got promoted. Okay, uh, nice, nice. So, parang ano? Parang j- just basically molding myself and and being like a sponge, right. getting to know what they're doing and what 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 can be applicable for my end, so that I have uh, my own characteristic. Right. I, I have my own identity. But you, you GB, you're so driven. I mean, the both of you obviously are. But I've known you for five or five six years, and talagang 
you know, you come to events with that suit, with the best slick back with your hair. Talagang, you, you know, you want to come, you come to an event and you have a purpose of why you're there. You want, you have a goal to get all the time. Now that you're president, bro, of, of Sun Life, what's next for you, man? Hmm. Is there more? Or or do you want to, is there so much to do as president? It's it's more of what I can give to the company now. Right. And, and, and the legacy that I can give to the guys. When, when I say the guys, the, you know, like Mon, the other managers, I mean, I've had. I'm just fortunate that I had mm-hmm. opportunity that was given to me, right. and then I want to pay it forward. Right. So I want to. I want to bring the company to a certain level that it's it's such a good talent pool that within the organization they'll say, ah, someone from Slamsi, uh, kuhani mo yan kasi magaling siya sa ganyan. Mm-hmm. Or send him to Vietnam or send him to to Malaysia ganyan kasi they can do stuff there that work well for the Philippines. So it's major, ano ne? Major, some sort of you know we're a global brand, right? Uh, we have different presence in different Asian countries as well as in, in North America. So it, it's more of giving these guys a shot that they never had. Right. I mean, I wanted to become a like regional guy, you know, parang, you know had a position in Hong Kong or whatever. Um, But you're president now. Yeah. So I'm taking care of the Philippine business. Right. But the opportunity that I would have wanted. Let's say when I was vice president, I, I hope that these guys can can have. Right. So it's more of that. Na parang the next steps are probably you know, having a family. Na eh. Kasi, ano na yan, eh? The woman comes in. <laughs> it's time for the so, woman, GB. Medyo, medyo, di ba? Maybe I mean, maybe it's not because of maybe you just haven't found the right one. Because it's like a puzzle, bro. Eh. It's a puzzle, di ba? It, it, the, the, the woman just fits you because all the women you've seen is like parang hindi eh. it doesn't fit the puzzle diba? yeah. love, love is a puzzle eh. <laughs> <laughs> Mon, how do you, how's GB as a boss GB what's are, his leadership style I would say I haven't had GB as a boss for a long time yet okay. but I love the way he has positive reinforcement to his ano, okay. to his people and that that's what really gets me and a, apart from GB all the bosses I've ever had This is the way it affects me. The, if, some, if a boss gives you positive reinforcement for the good things that you do, you want to do it over and over and again. Right. And you want to get better and better and better and better. And so that's what I could say that, that GB has. So positive reinforcement, that's yeah. very, very important yeah. as a leader. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yeah. yeah. There are four kinds of leadership. Huh? I, I, I mean, I want to share it to you go, guys. Go. I got this in business school. Um, in fact, that this business school really dedicated a module for leadership. Okay. So there's four kinds. Whether it could be you being a manager or a president or a vice president, so you, there's one coaching, parang basketball coach. Mm-hmm. You have your individual skill set, or this is the gameplay, mm-hmm. or let's win the game. So it's like in a company, kanya kanyang discard yan. You have your own skill set, but this is the company goal. Okay, yeah. So that's the coaching, and then you have the mentoring. Okay, uh, it's like probably. You, you know, you, you want you want to sing well, mm. so you watch how I s- sing the song, yeah. and sana you get to emulate. Okay. It. So mentoring, yeah. and then you want you have the uh, what you call affiliative. Okay. Affiliative, young friendly, friendly. Parang uh, I want to do good. I don't want to disappoint him. Because mm. uh, because uh, uh, I'm really gonna feel bad. So that's kind of the affiliative. And then you have the authoritative, like. Military style. Military style. Ganyan. Follow me, ganyan, or else. Ganyan. So, you have those. With this four, four what's the most efficient to you, and ah. what have you found most um, dominant, kumbaga, most useful, and most uh, yung kumbaga na talaga kumbaga. There's what you call situational leadership. Okay. I mean, you can't have. You'll use any of those as, at, at a particular time for a particular person. It's. Mm-hmm. It's not so like it depends one. on what the person you're mentoring or teaching yeah. uh, absorbs yeah. the best. Yeah. Yeah. To some extent, you have to have mirroring. Pa eh. Parang, kanya eh. I mean, if I go on one full authoritative, he's gonna buckle up. I mean, he, okay. he, he, might, he, might, he might even you know, back down and, nah, this is not for me. Right. So you have, to, you have to know the personality, the persona of the person, and then you blend it with the goal as well as the leadership style that you have. So a good leader should and must adjust also. Ah, yeah. Kumbaga, hindi ako yung boss, listen to me. Definitely. Hindi ganyan. Yeah.